All right, everyone, we got some breaking news for you. No fancy preamble. We need to get right into the story because it's huge. So Shin Megami Tensei was accidentally updated. The Shin Megami Tensei 5 game, the Japanese website, was accidentally updated tonight, and it was captured by PersonaCentral.com. The site's down right now, so I can't even show you it, but I do have it loaded on this laptop here. Uh, so we're going to go uh, off of this. We're going to read it all to you. It's been verified by many sources that this was real. This has happened. Let's get into it. It says, the official Japanese website for Shin Megami Tensei 5 was mistakenly updated with new, with new release details for the upcoming game, including its release date of Thursday, November 11th, 2021. That's right. It's like a week before Pokemon. Crazy. As the information came from a Japanese website, it's possible that this release date is only for Japan. However, the game was previously stated to have a worldwide release, so it presumably close to other territories. Essentially, it should release the same day, if not the day before. Presumably with an error made prior to the E3 2021 Nintendo Direct on June 15th, information for the Nintendo Switch exclusive RPG and next mainline entry in the SMT series has been displayed erroneously on the Japanese webpage. The details are the following. Description. The latest mainline title in the Shin Megami Tensei series. Shin Megami Tensei's first released in 1992, the series has gained in popularity for its dark world view, anarchic scenarios, and original combat systems with demons and deities as allies. Shin Megami Tensei 5 combines the unique charm of the series with the high quality visuals of the latest hardware. The game will deliver a new demon experience like never before. The main character is a high school student living in an ordinary life. It wanders into another world called Da'at, so D-A apostrophe A-T. The hero fuses with a mysterious man and becomes the Naobino, which is N-A-O-B-I-N-O, -O, a forbidden being throwing himself into battle between gods and demons. Uh, in the mysterious world of Da'at, where the desert is found all over, various gods and demons are scattered about, including demons as large as mountains and giant birds flying in the sky. As you explore Da'at, you'll face over 200 demons. In addition to familiar demons, several demons newly drawn by Masayuki Doi, the character designer in the title, will also appear. Da'at is an untamed land and is under attack by powerful demons. The protagonist clears his way through to pursue the truth, make use of various means to advance, such as growing the power of Neobino and sometimes utilizing the power of the demons themselves. The end of the game can diverge in many ways. What is the future you will choose? There will be a limited edition. Uh, this limited edition was on the Japanese website. Uh, there's no guarantee this will be anywhere else, but it's called Shin Megami Tensei 5, first limited edition, the forbidden Neobino box. The first limited edition of the Shin Megami Tensei 5, this box contains the game's charm, packed with plenty of demons and music that embody Shin Megami Tensei 5, so like a soundtrack. Uh, it also includes an item resembling the hero, so a statue or a coin or something considered a forbidden being in the game. Uh, it's an RPG for Nintendo Switch, November 11th, single player. The standard edition is 8,890 yen. Limited edition is 14,800 yen. And the digital version, for some reason, is more expensive at 9,878 yen. And it's rated 15 up, which is going to be a T-plus game here in the United States. So, there you go. That's the breaking news. And my word, am I excited. Talk about a big time rpg coming to nintendo switch this is one of the biggest it's exclusive it's supposed to be one of the very first games ever announced for switch it's now coming out this is huge it was late leaked accidentally by sega themselves on the japanese website this is absolutely insane what breaking news in the middle of the night this is clearly not how they wanted this news to get out there somebody hit send on the official website in japan before they were supposed to clearly it was going to be a big e3 announcement exclusive to switch wow Speaking of E3, we'll be reacting to this and so much more at E3 itself. We have a four-day show going on for you guys. Uh, it's going to be insane. We have $3,500 plus worth of giveaways, a whole bunch of crazy stuff happening. Well, I'll link to the first two days. We already have the stream set up, so you can go set your notifications for that. I'll also link to this story and also the original Japanese webpage for it, even if it's been updated and put back. It doesn't matter. We've already seen it. Uh, so, yeah, this is really exciting stuff. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to all of this and all of our E3 coverage. Uh, I hope to see all you guys either in the next video, next live stream. We have a live stream Friday, 8 p.m. Central. Uh, otherwise, we have our standard videos coming out sometime tomorrow. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robin Jans from Nintendo Prime, and hopefully, you enjoyed this late night breaking news. Oh, by the way, I know I just got up for a second. Birdman. Thank you, man. It's on you for this one. <laughs>